What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out. Helps my channel out, guys. Helps me to grow. And to the Boss Nation, thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And uh, fam, this morning's video is about Oklahoma. And Oklahoma Spring game, which fam, we got a lot to talk about in this game. So let's just get started, bro. I'm just gonna get started. Okay. So, guys, of course, man, looking at the tape look and whatnot, man, okay. Oklahoma, the offense, it didn't really start out as um as sharp, you know, at first. But as time went on, bro, as time went on, you started seeing touchdowns, people running the ball like crazy, people scoring, wide receivers and whatnot doing their thing, quarterback play. So, like I said, bro, at first it didn't really look sharp. But like I said, man, as the time went on, game went on, offense got good. But the defense from beginning to end, oh, bro, the defense, the defense, bro, was on point, man. Defense, baby, was on point for Oklahoma, man. So, guys, look, okay. Now, y'all got Tennessee transfer, Eric Gray, in which he looked like the best running back out there, bro. I'm talking about this boy, man. He was running – so fast, so hard, juking people, man, spinning around. I don't know if he spent, but anyway, you know what I mean, bro. This guy looked incredible out there, you know, whatnot. Also, man, House of War, bro, he made a catch, man, a one on the catch where the guy was, like, just hugging him pretty much. You might as well say the dude was hugging him, giving him a big hug, bro. He still caught the ball, man, and landed in bounds. I'm like, man, who is this guy, man? And, you know, I took my imaginary shades off. I'm like, what? But anyway, bro, he made an um, an incredible catch. Just incredible. DJ Graham, he had a huge hit and whatnot. Um, and the QB, Caleb Williams, man, looked really good out there, my brother. Now, not saying that Spencer Rattler, in which he didn't look as sharp today, but it's, I mean, yesterday, but it's all good, bro. It's just spring game, okay? He's going to be all right. He's going to come in um, and whatnot in the season and do his thing as usual. But Caleb Williams, he shined. He did pretty good, man. And also, man, um, oh, yeah, Mike Woods, bro. Mike Woods, man, and whatnot. This brother, 6'1", 195 pounds, 600 receiving yards, bro, Um, 600-plus receiving yards, and average pretty much 20 yards, man, per reception. Mike Woods from Arkansas, you know, y'all got him. In which, man, I'm just thinking to myself, huh, so why would he transfer, though, like that from Arkansas, man? Because it was going to be him. It was going to be my, my boy Burke and whatnot. And it was going to be the tag team duel. But now, shoot, Mike Wood said, man, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm gone, bro. Okay, I'm gone. I don't know why he left, but he's gone to Oklahoma. So, man, he just made the offense that much sweeter. Y'all already had wide receivers for days. You know, Marvin Mills, Mario Williams, the freshman. He's looking good. He's coming in. Bro, y'all y'all are stacked at wide receiver, man. You know? So just like us. So I'm like, bro, this is um, this is like really good for Oklahoma and whatnot. And not so good for the hogs. But hey, like I said, bro, it's a doggy dog world. Um, uh, yeah, doggy dog world. But um, let's see, who else? Oh yeah, y'all also got some more uh Tennessee talent, man, and whatnot. You got uh Key Lawrence and whatnot, and um Morris. Now you got Gray. I'm like, bro, and then Mike Woods from Arkansas. So, man, Oklahoma, y'all are doing some big-time things as far as these recruits, man, getting these transfer recruits. But not only that, though, bro, the defense, man, the defense really looked good today because it was like a lot of plays, bro. The offense, they couldn't even get off the ball. They couldn't even – the running back couldn't even get a yard before he was being touched by somebody on that defense. You feel me? So, this is like something, man, that I'm not really used to seeing from Oklahoma. Defense. And which, bro, y'all got it, man. Y'all got it, bro. That's why I made that video, man, about the torch and whatnot, passing the torch, bro. Because I really was seeing, I really was thinking that this is y'all year. But fam, like I said, though, bro, the offense now, the offense needs to jail more as far as the offensive line. And to be honest with you, you really remind me of us, you know, because we got a really deadly defense this year. Wide receiver for days, running back for days. Offense, the offensive line just need to jail. That's it. And young, they talented. Bro, y'all really remind me of us. And which, in the comment section of that video, Alabama fan passing the torch, bro, y'all have been just saying, you know what, Ben? Man, I really appreciate the love. And it's going to be Bama and Oklahoma for the national championship. 
And I'm saying thinking to myself, bro, the more I looked at the spring, our spring game, and the more I looked at y'all spring game, I was like saying, you know what, man? Hell, we could just, we very well could be in the freaking national championship, us in Oklahoma. You know? I mean, look, all this crimson and red everywhere, bro. Like, you don't know who fans of fans of what team? Because we all the same, you know? But it's just the fact that, man, y'all remind me of so much of us. So, I know I said passing the torch, bro. But after what I've seen for my team in the spring game and what I'm seeing for y'all team in the spring in the spring game, bro, we kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say so evenly matched, but we have the same, you know, defense is good, offensive line need to jail, wide receiver for days, running back for days. Bro, we, we pretty similar, man. We really are. Y'all like the Kings in the Big 12. We the Kings in the SEC. So if this thing keeps going the way I think it's going to go and whatnot, we definitely will be seeing each other in the playoffs. If not then, if not the playoffs, the national championship. But it's going to be one of those. It's going to be one of them, bro. Because I don't see nobody beating y'all in the Big 12. I don't see nobody beating us in the SEC. This is going to be Bama and OU year, man. You know? And I know I said passing the torch, but, bro, I I don't know now. I'm not so sure about passing the torch, bro, because I've seen how my team is looking, seen how y'all are looking. So, man, this is going to be... This is going to be a war, man. Okay, this I'm just going to point flat out say this is going to be a war between us, bro. But it's going to be love and respect from beginning to end. You know, because we both are blue bloods, man, of college football. Okay, everybody knows our tradition. Everybody knows who we are. So, so fam, this is going to be a special year, man. And I really didn't I really didn't wasn't thinking about us winning it this year, but guys, I'm not sure, man. Still I'm still thinking about OU though. I'm still thinking about y'all too. Fam, I'm still kind of, you know, conflicted a little bit. But if the things keep going the way I'm thinking they're going to go, we're going to see each other. We're going to see each other, man. We are. We just It's just point blank, period. And I don't know who's going to win that game. I really don't now because y'all are so similar. But we will see each other later on down the road, man. But anyway, look, guys, I love you. And like I said in all my videos, man, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. And uh, again, with that being said, much love, much love, man. And uh, stay tuned, stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.